Nature versus nurture is a debate that, frankly, most of us really don't care about. But every once in a while, you just have to wonder whether that craving for corn dogs is learned behavior or due to the genetic legacy bequeathed to you by one of your ancestors. And the same question holds true for celebrities. The talented, the beautiful, the powerful. Did they become famous simply because they won the genetic lottery? Here's a look at some of the strangest celebrity ancestors that explains a lot about their famous descendants. Tom Hanks' Presidential Pedigree Hollywood icon Tom Hanks is known for his upstanding everyman demeanor. So where does he get his all-American persona from? Well, it might be because he comes from the same line as the most American American of all time, Abraham Lincoln. Yes, Lincoln's mother was Nancy Hanks, making Honest Abe and the star of Joe vs. the Volcano distant cousins. The resemblance is uncanny. Emma Watson's Witchy Woman in Harry Potter, Hermione Granger was often ridiculed by the forces of he who must not be named for having no magic in her bloodline. Dare you talk to me? Filthy little mudblood. But it turns out that's not quite true. According to an Ancestry.com expose, actress Emma Watson is 14th cousins with a real witch. Well, at least as far as the English courts were concerned, since they convicted Watson's ancestor Joan Playle of witchcraft, excommunicating her from the Church of England in the process. Who's the mudblood now, Draco? And as it turns out, there's another interesting ancestral connection within the world of Harry Potter. J.K. Rowling's heroic legacy in 2009, Harry Potter author J.K. Rowling was awarded France's highest honor, the Légion d'Honneur, for her literary service to the world. But it wasn't the first time her family had been singled out for upholding the ideals of France. Rowling's great-grandfather, Louis Valent, earned the Croix de Guerre for displaying uncommon bravery at the Battle of Verdun during World War I. It's better. The Croix de Guerre is much better than the Légion d'Honneur. Now we know just how Rowling was able to craft those amazing tales of heroism. Seems like she was drawing on her own family's legacy. President Obama's All-American Roots His rise from the son of a struggling single mother to the leader of the free world is a quintessential American story. And it turns out his ancestry is just as uniquely American. According to genealogists, President Obama is actually descended from John Bunch, the son of John Punch, one of the first African slaves in American history. But that's not all. John Bunch's mother was white, and so was his wife, which means that President Obama descends from the first known black and white couple who left traceable descendants. We are the ones we've been waiting for. Catherine Hepburn's Ancient Muse All-time great Hollywood actress Catherine Hepburn is known for playing iconic film roles such as Eleanor of Aquitaine in the classic film The Lion in Winter. Surprisingly, she had a leg up on a competition. The real Eleanor of Aquitaine was actually one of her ancestors. But that wasn't her only royal connection to a part she played either. She's also related to James Hepburn, the third husband of Mary, Queen of Scots, who Catherine Hepburn played in Mary of Scotland. Talk about authenticity. America Ferrara's Revolutionary Roots Sisterhood of the traveling pants actress America Ferrara has been breaking down barriers and standing up for her beliefs throughout her career, and it seems she comes by it naturally. Her great-grandfather, General Gregorio Ferrara, was a revered rebel leader in Honduras, who repeatedly led movements to protect the rights of the people against the country's corrupt government regimes. And like his great-granddaughter America, he also gains his powers via a pair of magic pants. Okay, that part isn't true, but the rest of it totally is. Adam Vinatieri's Last Stand Legendary NFL kicker Adam Vinatieri is renowned for keeping his cool under fire, helping his teams win four Super Bowls thanks to his clutch performances. Where did he get that ice water in his veins from? Probably from his great-great-grandfather, Felix Vinatieri, who served in the military under the command of General George Armstrong Custer. Yes, that General Custer. Felix was even slated to accompany Custer on the mission that would go down in history as Custer's last stand. But Custer ordered Felix, who was a unit's band leader, to remain behind with his bandmates and await their victorious return. And we thought Super Bowl 36 was a close call. Meryl Streep is everything. Finally, there's Meryl Streep, who is widely acclaimed as one of the greatest actresses of all time. She has so many talents, it's impossible to trace them back to just one strange ancestor. But that's fine, because Streep descended from a slew of noteworthy forebears. Besides being directly related to a cousin of William Penn, the founder of Pennsylvania, she is also the descendant of one of the members of Pennsylvania's Constitutional Congress in 1776. Her family arrived in America the old-fashioned way. During the English Civil War, her ancestors were thrown out of 
of the country, only to help start another war, King Philip's War against the Native American tribes of Massachusetts, once they arrived in the New World. Is it any wonder Streep is able to bring such complexity and command to her roles? We're so ignorant of our back history. You know, we're very busy with our own lives, and we are the sum of all the people that have lived before us. Thanks for watching. Click the grunge icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.